Hey friends, um, as I promised, here is the end of the month zodiac check-in. I'm going to be pulling three cards for every zodiac sign um, and one of these dream oracle cards for each zodiac sign. Um, I'd say listen to your sun, moon, rising, and Venus uh, to get a full spread of uh, the messages for you. So if you don't know those, go ahead and look those up right now. Get your chart ready. Um, maybe take some notes. And again, this is a check-in, so this, this is more of a reflection for the month that passed um, to see what lessons have uh, come up, what is being integrated in your life right now, um, and maybe some things uh, to expect in the future, but, but not so much. This is more of just like a current energy check-in to see what's going on right now, okay? So from the top, should we start with Aquarius or just go in the order? How about this? We'll go in order, but starting with Aquarius. So then we'll end on Capricorn. Um, Aquarius, what's going on for you? Health. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what, what health really means. This is a time to pay attention to your health. It doesn't have to be physical health. It could be spiritual, mental, um, spiritual, mental, physical health um, or the uh, health of a loved one here it is important to um, see what let's try to glean what I said to pick another one look within so um, Aquarius this was a very loud message today in today's read um, if you haven't watched it yet I definitely go recommend checking it out uh, the message is look within. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this is some sort of like mental health. Maybe pay attention to how you're talking to yourself, um, your thoughts, um, and things like this. Okay, then we have the Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Yep, and then again, the Eight of Cups is, is another sort of emotional journey. This is something you might be going through a, a particularly difficult period of time right now, emotionally, Aquarius. Um, maybe it's because it's your season, um, and you know, anytime a birthday comes around, we do get this very sort of like up in the air view of our lives and everything that's happened to us so far, and we get very introspective. Um, and start thinking about what we've accomplished and where we're going. So take a chance to uh, look within, right? And um, give yourself the credit and celebrate all the things that you have accomplished instead of worrying so much about where you're supposed to be or who you're supposed to be by this point. Uh, because I definitely see that um, if, if you are experiencing some um, mental health um, I don't want to call them issues, just, you know, if this is a, peri a difficult period of time for you, I'm sensing that because it's, there's the Five of Pentacles, which is this this feeling of need or lack of resources or just feeling like we don't have what it takes. Take stock of everything that you do have um, and find that strength within. The four, of, the four of Pentacles for me is always a message of the body. Um, so you could start by doing some self-care. This was again a, a very a very um, loud reading from today and just general today's reading. I think that all of us are feeling a little um, fed up, tired, just waiting for the thing something to change. All right, who's next? Um, so that was you, Aquarius. Pisces, Vigilance, um, Pisces, whatever situation you've been dealing with, interesting, I often, I sometimes still need to look up um, something, yes, okay, no need to be cautious, sometimes reversals are reversed in this deck. But that makes sense. There's no need for vigilance. Whatever 
has been on your mind, Pisces, uh, maybe before you started this reading or so a situation that you dealt with in January and all through this month that maybe is finishing up now or, or still on your mind, there is no need to be vigilant, as in um, learn to trust. How do you trust and um, embody the faith that you have um, either in yourself or in the situation you're currently dealing with? Pisces. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups. And the Devil. Oh, interesting. Pisces, I'm getting, I'm strongly getting that you maybe have been having doubts about where you've put your energy this last month. Um, maybe you feel that you've been too indulgent, uh, but I don't think that's the case. I think that you have done the right thing, um, making a decision that feels good to you. Um, you're out here living your life just like everybody else and you deserve to. You are, you definitely deserve to. So, um, I don't think that there, there is a need for concern in terms of feeling like you made a selfish decision because I don't think that's the case. Okay. That's what, so that's what the vigilance is about. There's no need to be vigilant. There's no need to sort of be your own, um, disciplinarian here. Okay. Not right now. Now is not the time. Let's move on. Um, now we're on Aries. Wasteland in reverse. So this is about coming out of stagnation and uh, creating movement. Aries, of course you are. Of course you are. Um, the thing about the wasteland is we don't know where we're going yet, but we're learning as we go. And Aries, I don't, um, I'm not surprised for one second that Aries would w be the first to sort of get out there and, and want to want to move forward. It's January after all. Yep, there's the tower, King of Cups, and Justice. Aries, I'm strongly getting that you are ready to manifest your dreams. You, you want to know that the thing in front of you is real or not and you're sort of done waiting, I get the sense. I think you need to know the truth and you've spent this month um, preparing for things to potentially fall apart if they don't, if you don't get the answers that you need. I think you just need some answers now. You need things to move because you're no longer willing to be in the same place. Taurus. Synchronicity in reverse. See, anytime we see synchronicities, this is about tapping in. You remember, uh, if you watch my videos, I talk about tapping in. Synchronicities is all is when we are tapped into the signs and messages that are coming um, to us from other worlds. Um, when we don't see them, it means that we're off of our true path, um, and it's a sign that we need to open ourselves more to synchronicity. Start noticing um, repeated symbols or colors or messages, animals, repeated numbers, recurring dreams. No one can tell you what that stuff really means. You yourself know, Taurus, when that stuff speaks to you. I love, this is what I love about synchronicities is that it is the language of the universe and your noticing of synchronicities spe is its own language from another person's language of synchronicities. Yes, we have things like angel numbers and totem and spirit animals and, and all that, but what that really means and how that translates to your life, Taurus, that's what you're here to figure out, okay? What does it all really mean? We have here the Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, yep, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, Taurus is very slowly learning 
Um, hmm. I would say learning how to take things slowly. Learning how to really extract all of the goodness of life and all of the um, sort of maximizing the 3D experience by move, moving forward with, with this feeling center. Um, I don't know if that's natural for Taurus or not. It's true Taurus does, as a sign you usually have your values system, um, but then I think something else takes over and it just is sort of like um, steady and and a bit stubborn, just sort of like very consistent versus feeling something really is it's not progress oriented, it's experience oriented okay, maybe that's the maybe that's what was happening for Taurus in January really sensing, getting deep, getting a closer or deeper sense of um, happiness or contentment in a new way that is very much learning as you go in a way that is expanding um, from what um, from some previous sense of this because right, I would say that Knight of Pentacles is more Taurus energy and here we have the Knight of Cups it's much slower and so um, it maybe it's about learning to um, allow for slower progress in order to really feel and sense every single step. Okay, it's a new approach, I think, for Taurus. Who's next? Uh, Gemini. Movement in reverse. All right, Gemini's, you might it might be feeling like there is not not a whole lot of movement, or simply the need for movement. Are you thinking about traveling, um, energetic movement? What needs to be shaken up in your life? What are you moving towards, or wanting to move towards? There may have been a lot of thinking about um, maybe trips or plans you want to take this year. Maybe that's something you did this month. We have the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Uh, Gemini, I get the sense that you are You, this month you've maybe learned how to inject yourself, your own needs, um, a little bit more, especially in situations where um, your environment is really asking a lot of you. Um, there is a need for you to, and I don't want to say, you know, defend yourself or stand up for yourself, but it is definitely sort of like, hey, I'm here. Um, I have my own wishes. I have my own... Um, ideas and um, yeah and I think it's time to ask for what you want I think you've really been you've been working really hard and and now it's time to ask for you want for what you want and in that sense you're sort of taking initiative to say even if you're not taking action on it right now or, or had in the last month you might be thinking or hatching a plan to um, claim that stake this year make some moves so I'm getting for Gemini. Let's see. Uh, next we have Cancer. Animal Spirits in reverse. All right, Cancer. Uh, this is a bit of um, an awakening, I think, because anytime we see animal spirits, and it doesn't just have to be animal spirits, but it's referencing um, our spirit guides, um, our ancestors, guides, animal spirits you know this is maybe a little bit of the other reading coming through here um, somebody wants to somebody something the universe spirits 
um, are trying to send you a message and so when it comes out in the reverse it's saying pay extra careful attention to the signs two messages two instinctual sort of feelings um, of where to be and and um, and what to do in order to listen better let's see what comes out for cancer judgment self-awareness strength wow world wow so definitely cancer for you what I'm getting is that something is changing in your life when the world comes out it's always a sign that you know it is the ending of something but also a new beginning simply um, when we think of life as having chapters or eras this month may have may have felt like a very significant um, change um, for you and so what I'm really strongly getting is that your focus this month has been on um, uh, acquiring a level of self-awareness um, to navigate um, some sort of significant change and strength here is really a show of compassion and courage in the face of fear so if you've been feeling a bit out of touch or simply that uh, that things have been um, hard to handle animal spirits this is you know your guides wanting to send you a message right now to Take stock of what you have and, and have a little bit of compassion for yourself as you navigate into this new chapter that's starting for Cancer. Um, also any Cancer, I mean I see um, Leo is showing up for you as well. So um, maybe Cancer with Leo in your chart. Did anyone else get... Um, um, sorry Pisces you also got Capricorn showed up for you I'm just realizing that you know there might be zodiacs showing up so cancer with Leo over here hmm this is also the heart space strength Leo heart follow your heart all right who do we have next um, oh actually next is Leo dream lover all right Leo you may have spent <laughs> January which is the month of a mercury retrograde thinking about um, a potential partner or somebody um, that you are partnered with and maybe coming to terms with that this person is not actually your dream lover that's what the dream lover in reverse means. Uh, means someone better is coming down the line for you. But let's see what the three card spread has to say to clarify that. Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Okay. Interesting. Um, Leo. If this is about a relationship that you've been thinking about in the last month, you see a whole lot of potential in this relationship, I think, but it's just a lot of work to maintain. And so I think that maybe you don't, you've, you've not been willing to see that. Uh, maybe it's, maybe you've let somebody go in the last month. Um, if the reality is that there's just a lot going on, maybe that this maybe this person um, or you are not willing to put in the work just yet, um, or if you have been putting in the work, you're just not seeing how like maybe where it's going. Um, in any case, you know a message of the of the Venus retrograde, and even though I know it's over and we're still talking about it, the shadow period for that energy lasts through the month of February. So if it's true for you that you've been feeling this in January 
and maybe even you've had discussions about it or maybe not, now is the time to um, yeah, start connecting um, this vision of a potential that you had or, or maybe this vision of a person that you had talking with them um, directly to, um, how do I say, very in a very succinct manner, talking with them to see if you all are willing to put in the work or not. Because I think that you're not, you've been leaking, the Eight of Swords for me is always about, I don't know if you can see it here, but she's leaking, leaking, <laughs> I keep saying leaking. She's leaking. She's she's got some like you know like an oil spill down here. I'd say oil spill because of like the way these cards look. It's very like slick. Eight of Swords is the card of self victimization. It's like when we keep ourselves comfortably scared because we're not willing to see what's on the other side. But the truth is is that there's potential here. I think there's potential for this to be worked out, um, but it is going to require a lot of work. So you need to decide. Leo, if this is something you want to work on or not, or if it's time to move on. Leo. Uh, who's next? You got the gift. Why can't, why am I blanking? Virgo. Virgo has the gift. The gift is incredibly auspicious. Um, the universe gives us gifts sometimes, and it's our job to learn how to use it um, and what it means in our lives and how do we use it for the greatest good, um, and then we must eventually give it back. So we can think of this as our own innate gifts, but the gift is actually something that is beyond us, external of us, that is here for a period of time that can be um, utilized to help not only yourself, but the people around you the community that you're trying to build, Virgo. We have the Four of Wands, the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Yeah. It's totally in your nature to, um, I think, be a leader, to inspire others, and to create a community um, so this, the gift that might be showing up for you um, in the last month that you have nurtured um, or intuitively just, you know, willed into existence is some sort of um, community. But I mean, the leadership aspect in here is very strong. I feel like you've, you've, ins you've inspired enough people to sort of build some sort of structure around um, something you care deeply about and that is a gift your ability to to generate community to be a leader and to also be so nurturing at the same time I think that I think that a lot of people do rely on you and look up to you and that's why you have this gift the universe gave you a little gift to work with right now that's interesting to see where that's gonna go um, Virgo Uh, Libra. Lucid. Oh boy. In reverse. <laughs> I've got Libra in my chart, so I, I'm laughing at that. Um, you see how she's holding a little flame? Whoop. Oh, how about that? That flame is like the same symbol that's here in the gift. So lucid in reverse, it's like when we're out of touch with our manifesting power. And that's why I laugh at, at that at Virgo because, sorry, not Virgo, at Libra, because Libra's, their, their whole thing is they can't seem to make a decision. So what do I do with this? Let's see what Libra, Libra, Libra. All my Libras, I feel for you. I got Libra. Libra. Um, we have the Chariot. Yeah. The Two of Wands. And the 
three of is it Empress, the Empress. Uh, Libra, I am getting strongly here that in the month of January, um, it has been possibly a, um, a difficult time to make any solid decisions toward one end. I know it's in our nature to uh, be a little indecisive here. I think that the medicine for that is to really open up uh, to your own vulnerabilities. I think once you can acknowledge that, you can um, see maybe a situation that you're dealing with, a decision that needs to be made from another perspective. Empress is here, that's Venus. Chariot is here, that's Cancer, that's sort of like our home centered. You know, so aligning yourself to your own will, your own willpower, um, understanding your place in the world. So this was a message that came up earlier. And so for Libra, I'll say, what do you represent? What do you want to represent in the world? You can rely on that feeling and use that as your guidepost to make decisions. If this is resonating for you as you feel out of touch or just extra confused or out of your power in terms of making decisions. Your own willpower is meant to guide you. Your own intuition is meant to guide you um, into the future. Okay, here we go. Uh, Scorpio. Innocence the soul of the tarot. This is embodied by the fool. So Scorpio, uh, maybe something brand new has started for you um, in January. I know that it's been a new year for all of us. However, this I'm getting is uh, relating to um, your willingness, your openness to learn. So maybe you've learned something new in the last month, maybe about yourself, maybe about um, Maybe about your um, your family. I'm getting like your like where you come from. Maybe you've learned something about yourself, um, as in like where you come from. Interesting. Uh, Scorpio, the sun, hanged man. And the Six of Swords. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. I love the artwork is sort of repeating itself just a little bit. Just check this out real quick. Oh boy, you see those like little waves in the sky? They almost look like minimalistic clouds or air or something. I'm really getting the sense that, and even even uh, this card, the Innocence card, has like a sky in it. So blue skies for Scorpio, that's really what I'm getting. I feel like you've maybe um, nurtured some aspect of yourself, like when we do child work or like regression or um, just like really getting into something um, extremely positive here and maybe that means you've had to um, give up a few things in order to preserve your your happiness your um, something deeply important to you that 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 preserves your happiness again the Sun card is like all about positivity and radiance um, and this might be different from for you a different mode of operating because I see the six of swords so maybe somebody is actually moving or just um, This is, this is about moving from one place to another. So a departure, okay. Scorpio, something has definitely changed for you in the last month about how you see the world and your place within it. I think it's an, it's an incredibly positive change. Um, Capricorn, wait. Who am I missing, y'all? Sagittarius, my goodness. 
you hear that noise? That was pretty scary. Chasing, the chasing. The chasing in reverse. So again, I'll flip this upside down so you can see. Um, this symbolism, that's the gift again. I feel like this is like the flame of inspiration. This is our willpower. This is, it would be too easy to take it as just the sun, but this thing that we're chasing. In reverse can be taken a few different ways. Sagittarius, what have you been chasing and why? I think that this is your question, Sag, is uh, in the last month may maybe you've realized or just started thinking about um, everything that has happened up until now, why am I doing it this way? This is a, just a level of questioning. Oh gosh, and you know that makes perfect sense for Sag, our philosophers of the Zodiac. They want to know everything. They, they really want to know why are they doing the things that they do? You know, and and how does that reflect on them? I think only you know, Sag. Um, it is good to always ask questions, so let's see what the cards have to say. The Four of Cups. The Nine of Swords. The Emperor. I see. Sag, maybe you've had some FOMO in the last month. Maybe you just woke up one day and, and thought that you're not really where you want to be. Like maybe you made decisions in the past where you did, um, you know, you made decisions that you thought you needed to make to get to where you needed to be and, and do some work on yourself to address any anxieties that you have. Um, or um, to find, um, how do I say, to find inspiration again, to find, find that um, the lust for life, if you will. Because I think you have been chasing that and maybe now that thing has just simply shifted or changed. And so now you're asking yourself like, why am I here? I want to be over there, you know, so um, the Emperor is also showing up here. That's Aries energy, um, which is Mars. You are, in the last month, have been um, not just asking why, but maybe taking action or thinking about taking action um, to make some sort of important adjustment in your life. Um, and this is to, you know, address any fear of, of some sort of missed opportunity or that you are, you f maybe you're just feeling off track and that's okay. We all get there, you know, um, that's just sort of the, the recap for January and maybe something that had, a, that has been prominent for you. Uh, okay. And finally, last but not least Capricorn, what is Capricorn? Let's just for Capricorn laughter upside down so um, upside down in the reverse uh, that's uh, also a 33 card that's nice indicative of the need to connect to something lighter something that makes you feel um, joy reconnecting with joy Capricorn we have the seven of cups the three of Pentacles and the magician yeah this feels like um, a, a recent reading that I did that I just um, probably published recently. Um, it's like you want to do all these things, um, Capricorn, and I think you also do crave um, community and this need to um, build something with people. You're very capable on your own, but you just like to have the community um, around you. And so um, I definitely get the sense that while um, you're, you're trying to manifest um, your place, where, which community do you want to serve? 
and the seven of cups here is a bit of dreamy energy so what I'm getting is that there's sort of like a dreamy aspect to like some new community that you want to be a part of um, I think you're connecting that with some of your dreams like what you want to create in your life um, this is about communicating your desires but then also you know maybe part of you is feeling like there's just like a lot to do in your um, you think that by being able to identify maybe the need of a community or the need of others around you, you can then find your place by saying, I want to be of service, so I'm going to, I'm going to occupy this space and work towards this end. I think that's very, very um, noble Capricorn at the same time. I think that's why laughter is showing up in reverse because you can be in service to others all day, but if you're not connecting to what truly fulfills you and, and brings you joy in life, you are going to lose out on a lot of um, awesome experiences and um, that, that this life has to offer. So that's possibly what the Seven of Cups here is, is like this need to be of service and then like with and, and build community but then also serving yourself and and being here for yourself and doing the things that you want to do with your time uh, so there might be a lot of weighing of those things and maybe you spent the last month um, really connecting to or needing realizing the need to connect more to spending your time um, doing things that you enjoy most with laughter just doing everything from a more light-hearted place. Don't take everything so seriously like, you know, like it's the end of the world. Although it might be. Well, that was a low note to end on, but I wish it was a higher note. <laughs> let me know if you like the Zodiac check-in. Um, let me know if it resonates for you. And um, I'd like to do more of these. I'm practicing sort of my own ability to sit here and talk for long periods of time because that's not normally what I'm really accustomed to um, but I, I love doing the zodiac check-ins because I really get to see different personalities come out um, with these sort of like really rapid fire um, energy check-ins so if you like it give it a if you like this video give it a like um, and let me know um, what else you think I should do alright so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one